Hola y bienvenido a Learn Spanish on SpanishDicks.com. I'm Harley Whitmire and I'm your teacher. Today you'll be learning how to tell time using number vocabulary and the verb ser, like son las siete y media de la mañana, es la una y cuarto de la tarde, y mucho más. ¡Vámonos! An important part of learning a new language is learning the numbers. Not only do you need the numbers to tell time, but you'll also use numbers when buying items, telling your phone number or your address, or asking for the date. Let's start by counting them out loud. I'll go through numbers 0 through 20 first, and then multiples of 10 up through 50, so we'll have all the numbers that we need to tell time. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Y repita. Listo? Cero. Cero. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Seis, seis, siete, siete, ocho, ocho, nueve, nueve, diez, diez, once, Once, doce, doce, trece, trece, catorce, catorce, quince, quince. You should really practice the numbers zero through fifteen since they have such unique pronunciations. But starting with 16, all you have to do is combine the numbers you already know. Diez y seis into one word. Diez y seis. Diez y seis. And the same goes for 17 through 19. Diez y siete. Diez y siete. Diez y ocho. Diez y ocho. Diecinueve, diecinueve. Y finalmente, veinte, veinte. All the numbers after 20 work a lot like 16 through 19 in that you combine the word for the tens multiple along with the word for the ones multiple, and there you have your number. 21 is veinte uno but a little bit faster, right? Veinte uno. Veinte uno. Veinte dos. Veinte dos. Veinte tres. Veinte tres. I think you got how to do the 20s. Now the rest of the numbers are pretty similar to that, except for instead of saying just the multiples of 10 number and then the next number, you put the word for and in between. So instead of saying 31 in Spanish, you say 30 and one. And this works for 31 all the way up through 99. So for 30, you'll have 30, 30. Treinta y uno. Treinta y uno. But of course it's a little bit faster. The whole speaking pace of Spanish is a good bit faster than English, so you'll just have to get used to that part. Treinta y uno. Treinta y dos. Treinta y tres. And so on. Cuarenta. Cuarenta. Cuarenta y uno. Cincuenta. Cincuenta. Cincuenta y tres. All right, do you think you have it? 
Let's try and repeat them all in groups of three. Listo? Cero, uno, dos. Tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis, siete, ocho. Nueve, diez, once. Doce, trece, catorce. Quince, dieciséis, diecisiete. Dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte. Veintiuno, treinta, treinta y uno. Cuarenta, cuarenta y uno. Cincuenta, cincuenta y uno. Fantástico! Now that you know your numbers a lot better, we can move on to the conversation. A really great way to strike up a conversation with someone that you don't know is to ask them what time it is. All you have to say is, ¿Qué hora es? Repite, ¿Qué? Hora? Es. Now, this is a great time to bring up a little pronunciation reminder. Remember that you don't pronounce the H's when they come at the beginning of a word, like hola is hola and not hola, just like hora is not hora. Okay? Repite, ¿qué hora es? Perfecto! Now, because we are polite, we like to say, excuse me, what time is it? This means that you'll be getting a person's attention. So, do you remember how to say, excuse me? Bien, perdone. And you can even add in a señor o señora if you'd like to practice your vocabulary. So ask me the question. Get my attention first by saying, excuse me, ma'am. And then ask me, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Pues, son las cuatro y cuarenta. Did you notice how I answered with the time? It's a little bit different than in English, right? In Spanish, you say son, which is the plural form of ser, and then las, which is the plural feminine definite article, and then the number for the hour. Right now, it's the hour is four, so you would say cuatro. And then you use our word for and, e, and then the number of minutes. Cuarenta, forty. It's four forty. Son las cuatro y cuarenta. Te toca. It's your turn. ¿Qué hora es? The formula is pretty easy when you think about it. Son las, hour number, e, minute number. Want to try again? ¿Qué hora es? ¡Qué bien! The only exception to the son las rule is if the hour is in the one o'clock range. Then, because one is singular, you'll use es la instead of son las. Makes sense, right? Una is singular, all the other numbers are plural. Es la una y diez is a perfectly wonderful answer. So let's try a few. I'll show you some pictures of some clocks. You tell me what time it is. Son las tres. Muy bien. Son las ocho. Es la una. Perfecto.